Okay, what can I say about the expats in the Philippines? The, the first thing is the, the, the group called what we call the sexpats. The sexpats are those which are normally of an older generation. Um, they're, they're sex tourists. Um, they go to the Philippines for a short period of time every year and abuse the locals in the prostitution market. Simple as that. Um, the locals, you know, the people will argue, well, they need the market because there's no jobs, blah, blah, blah. I'm not getting into it. And the simple, the simple reason being there's a problem with the whole bloody e economy. So saying, well, that fixes it by people selling, them, selling themselves. I'm not even, you know, for me, it's not even a debate I want to talk about. Um, because there's bigger, bigger economic problems there. Um, the next group I would say is the guys that are we call the retirees. The retirees are generally guys um, 65 plus, um, normally married a local and just out there um, in God's waiting room. Um, they not saying it in a negative way, but they're basically there for their their twilight years, um, just enjoying things. And most of them are pretty settled and laid back, and some of the relationships are a bit odd. Um, you know, cause you might have a 65 year old guy with a 19 to 25 year old girl. I don't see it as normal, so don't ask me, because uh, some of these guys get offended with the fact that it's, it will never look normal to me. They may they may find that they have they they see a normal relationship. I'm not arguing it. That's between them. But for me, it doesn't look normal. Um, but it's still pretty common. Um, then then there's people like myself, which are I'd call the new generation. Um, we started arriving um, probably. From, Probably around the same time I arrived, there might have been people before me, but at the same time there was never the same quantity um, because the numbers seem to be increasing year on year out. Um, because a lot, because what's happened is the internet market's developed. Uh, when I first went to the Philippines, uh, Skype didn't exist. Uh, the same as people weren't using WordPress, they weren't using Blogger. The online marketing didn't exist really. It was just all all this stuff was infancy. Now you have the programmers, the web developers, the graphics designers, the um, app designers, um, and the outsourcers. You know the people that open call centers and stuff. Those are a younger generation. They're the computer generation. Um, now, no offense to some of the older guys, because I know some of the other guys are pretty technical. Um, but what I'm saying is, for my age group, we don't have a pension. M most of what we earn is from up here. Um, we find ways to make money. We're not paid off by uh, IBM or whatever. We we don't have the cash flow, or well, some of us have the cash flow, but it's not. A guarantee cash flow in the way, same way a pension is. What you're finding though is the new generation are a bit more, I would say, a bit more friendly with the locals. Um, that's that's something from what I'm, you know, from the people I know, is that we mix with the locals in a different way. Um, I think we we embed more easily uh, and integrate because. We have we have uh, an interest in the local country. We're interested in the local food. We're interested in uh, local people. You know, be getting married or finding people to work for us. The fact is, that is a new generation. Um, beyond that, you got your backpackers. You got the people on short-term holidays, just trying for the experience. Maybe come out for a month. Um, but that that sums up most of the expats. Um, there's not there's not many professionals there. Um, a lot of the when I say not sorry working professionals, 
the, you know, if you wanted to get a job as an expat um, in the Philippines, you're probably going to struggle unless you know an expat with a business there or has a network that can get you a job. Um, and a lot of those are older generation guys. Um, you know, they're they're people that go to like bowling and stuff, and they got a job via somebody else they know um, because they need to top up their pension or their their ex wife took most of their cash. Um, but for the average expat, getting a job in the Philippines isn't really an option. Um, because even if you get one, the, the money ain't great. I mean, I've got friends that do it. I've got friends that are, what they're living on in a month, we were spending on uh, on restaurants. Um, but at the same time, when I first went to the Philippines, I did the same. Uh, my Our income was less than £100 a month. And as a couple, we survived on it. It wasn't really an issue because... When you're younger, you're a bit more adaptable. You know, if you're having chicken and uh, rice every day, it doesn't really bother you. Um, as long as you're happy, because you, the the place around you is what's important, and the people around you, and um, that's what makes it exciting.